right now at five, nearly 80,000 pounds of baby formula arrived in the U.S. overnight from Germany. The formula will not be on store shelves, though. It will go straight to doctors and hospitals for babies with allergies. Our Mary Jo Ola asked if any of that will make it to Wisconsin and how parents are now dealing with this serious shortage. Mary Jo. Carol, while we're hearing more about what the federal government is doing, families who use baby formula are still facing excruciating uncertainty. Parents tell us that they're doing what they can to manage. I'm switching between four different brands right now because I'm literally just grabbing whatever I can find. Brittany Balsitis says breastfeeding isn't producing enough for her three-month-old son. He also needs hypoallergenic baby formula, which is hard to come by. Scary to think anybody is in that position. I mean, I've cried thinking about it. Raquel Urbina knows the feeling. Her daughter, Adelise, also needs the same specialty baby formula. Raquel hops from store to store. Right now, she estimates her current supply will last a week and a half. Instead of making a six ounce bottle, I'll make her a four ounce bottle. And if she still wants the two ounces, I'll make her two ounces. But that way I'm helping avoid her wasting any formula because I can't really waste any any formula at this moment. Over the weekend, a military plane with 78,000 pounds of formula landed in Indiana. It's unclear if and when any of that shipment will come to Wisconsin. Same as when we could see a reliable supply on store shelves. Dr. Margaret Hennessy with Ascension Wisconsin says switching brands is an option. If I find a particular brand that's not my usual one. It's very likely for most kids, it's going to be fine. But if your kid is on a specialized formula, talk to their doctor first. Dr. Hennessy says when switching formula, one way to do it is to make one bottle of brand A, then a bottle of brand B, then mix half and half. There is no standard scoop size, so you need to follow the instructions exactly. For an infant, by changing even very little their sodium, for example, in their body, or their calcium in their body. It can actually cause seizures, brain swelling, and death. With so many families turning to social media for help, the doctor stresses you want unopened products. If it's already been opened, there's a risk for contamination. Dr. Hennessy is optimistic the formula issues will be resolved by summer, but says if you switch brands and your child is spitting up more or has loose stool, to contact your pediatrician. Mary Joel with TMJ for me. Such a tough time for parents. Mary Joel, thank you very much.